got a fire going in the fireplace. It uh, heats up the whole house. Like that fireplace. All right. I'm just trying to calm down before I do the next what the fuck, but it really isn't working. Hey folks, it ain't happening. We got a real idiot from Canada here that just pulled the trigger and I'm, I'm going to let this explain itself to you. Greetings, GPLZ. It's asymmetrical war barrier. Cheers. Explain itself to you. Bullshit. And, uh, not, not because I, obviously, I don't give a shit about Craig. Uh, and I don't really care that much about Zimmerman. I, considering uh, what's going on today, and then one guy, that's that's probably not the biggest issue. Even if there's a, uh, a nationwide witch hunt for the guy, it, it doesn't really, it's, it's not a big thing in the grand scheme of things. No, it's just a way of rescinding uh, stand your own ground. And it's also a distraction from other shit that we need to dig into and figure out what the fuck's going on. Or worse. But <laughs> they've been told all their lives that they can't discriminate. Uh, they've, they've attached guilt to discrimination. And discrimination is the essence of rational thought. What's the opposite of discrimination? The opposite of discrimination is to be indiscriminate. Would you be indiscriminate as to who you let into your house? Would you be indiscriminate? We're talking about my house. God damn. I don't understand why I, I subscribe to this idiot. Uh, that's uh, my house. I choose who comes in my house, and generally, it's like minded people. Uh, sometimes I have other minded people, but uh, what the fuck? As to who you'd be comfortable dating. Would you be indiscriminate as to who you would trust with your possessions? Good God! I'm glad you're up in Canada. I'm glad you're not deciding things down here in America. The USA. What the fuck, dude? No, you would discriminate. You discriminate based on whatever factor you fucking want. Now you can say, I think it's wrong to discriminate based on race. Okay, fine. We can have an argument on that. Um, it it, you can't discriminate based on how someone looks. Um, okay, but my mind's forming these... Excuse me, I work in the public sector. I do discriminate against how a person looks. If you've got a fucking nose ring and uh, a, a, a piercing through your lips, I don't want you in the public representing my business. I'm sorry. I there. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but. I don't want you representing me. It, I, I, I work heavily with the public. Patterns. Oh. My mind's noticing people that are more dangerous than others and that there are visual cues. 
There are auditory cues. There are plenty of cues. Um, so that's what I think is going on. They they feel the need to discriminate. They feel guilty about that. And in order to overcome the guilt, they have to proudly and loudly declare how wrong it was to discriminate in the first place. Okay. Now, my biggest question right now is, what does the fuck does this have to do with Trayvon? Trayvon was a kid going home. He gets assaulted. Well, he gets confronted by somebody carrying a handgun and gets dead. What's this got to do with Trayvon? Uh, they, they have to fight the demons uh, that are in their own minds in the, in the real world because if they don't, then, then, then they have to admit that they're sane like the rest of us. Out, out of okay. I can agree with that. That uh, Zimmerman was insane. He's playing Don Quixote with a kid. Certain level. Um, and, you, and you can see this pattern occurring a lot. I mentioned uh, flying imams uh, versus, you know, fist-fucking my grandmother in the airport. Like my grandmother could barely walk. She's not going to be a terrorist. Um, Dude... What the fuck you talking about? Um, what else? There is this guy. I know this isn't funny, but in a way, it's it's hilarious. Uh, there was this guy who uh, wanted to go live with bears to prove that bears weren't dangerous and that he loved the bears and that everyone needs to go live with bears and tell them how much they love them and then we'll all be in a happy, harmonious relationship with Be and he got eaten. Um, well, duh. What did his girlfriend, stupid bitch? Uh, you know, ladies. Uh, what about the stupid bastard? I'm sorry. Like, if your boyfriend says, I want to go, I want to take you out and introduce you to a bunch of bears, like, are you really that hard up for sex? You can't be. Uh, another thing that's really irritated me, uh, I love HBO. HBO is the best television. Dude, you need to get a life. Ever. Uh, I also love vampires. I, I love stories about vampires. I love them. Like I said, you need to get a life. The concept of a vampire uh, is rarely done well. But I still, I still, you know, keep my fingers crossed and hope that one day I'll come across a really good vampire movie or really good vampire story. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got better things to do than this. And uh, HBO has tried to do that, and it's come up with True Blood. And True Blood pisses me the fuck off. I hate. True Blood. I tried to like it. I then don't fucking watch it. Tried to like it all the way through, halfway through the second season. Can't fucking do it. And here's why. They're trying to make vampires appear to be sweet, innocent, and nice, and just another lifestyle choice. Oh. Like yours. And I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, they 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 like. It's also this really irritating metaphor for how liberals view gay people. Um, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to go there. No, I just want to say like, I I have no problem with vampires being gay. I have no problem with vampires being bi. Um, I like the Anne Rice novel. I like Interview with the Vampire, and those vampires were clearly. Wait, bye. Um, 
And I thought it really added to what the characters were, what they were about, and what it was to be a vampire. I Dude. Get a fucking life. It actually goes back to the old Bram Stoker stuff, but you, well, it's not really noticeable now, but in Victorian times it was really noticeable, though. Going into the woman's bedroom at night and sucking on their neck, and, yeah. You know, um, but it's just so fucking irritating to me that you take a concept like a vampire, you take what is, in my mind, dangerous and brilliant and um, threatening, uh, and you, you defang them. Dude, do you really have a mind? What the fuck? Why, if, if you wanted to do a series about gay people, or more, like you, you could easily do this series. Uh, but no, they have to take danger and crap it up. They have to take danger and make it shit. <laughs> Dude, why do you even watch TV? It's all shit. Uh, don't even get me started on Twilight. Fuck, I hate Twilight. But, um... You're a boob tube. You're a boob tuber. Go suck on that damn boob tube. Wow. Yeah. Asymmetrical warfare. Cheers. Cheers, dude. I don't know where you're coming from anymore. Bye.